Hello and welcome back to the Coders Legacy channel. In this video, we'll explore how to lazy load modules in Python using a library called importlib. So what exactly is lazy loading modules? Well, basically it means that instead of importing all our modules right in the start of our program, like we do import time, import uh, date time, import take inter, these are all libraries that we can import, right? And all of these are imported at the very beginning of our program. Now, this can result in a high startup cost. Basically, that means that if you have a lot of heavy modules, like especially those big AI libraries, then this can take, this can slow down your initial startup time. This can be a problem for applications with a lot of modules or where startup time is very critical and it needs to be as low as possible. So one thing that can be done to reduce this effect is to lazy load modules. This means that we're going to import modules at a later date only when we actually need them. Okay, so basically this can mean that if we have a function, function which uses time module, all right, so that's a very long name, I know, but basically what we can do here is import time and then use, for example, the time.sleep function. So this is one example, one way in which we can lazy load modules in Python, all right? But there's another library that we can use called import lib. And just in case you didn't get that earlier, let me just elaborate. Basically that this time library is not gonna be imported until we call the function that uses this function, this time module. All right, so chances are that our user never even uses this function, which is just gonna increase the benefit of using lazy loading instead of just importing this at the very beginning, okay? So you might also think that it's inefficient that we are importing this module every time we call this function. That is not the case. This will only import time, the time module, the first time this function is executed, okay? It's not gonna re-import the whole module every time we run this function, all right? So no need to worry about that. Okay, so let's talk about import lib. Import, import lib, I already have it installed. If you do not, just install it using pip install import lib or any other equivalent command, okay? This library is not too different from just you know, putting the import statements where you need them to be, but there are a few interesting things about this module that we should discuss because it definitely uh, kind of builds on top of the whole lazy loading concept, all right? So one thing that we can do is import lib.import module, all right? And then we can import a module like scrapey or time, okay? And then this returns the module like over here, okay? then we can use functions from that module, like uh, sleep, that's from the time module, right? It's gonna stop our program for two seconds before shutting down. Hello world. So now if this has been successfully imported, this hello world should appear after two seconds. And that is indeed the case. You can see that there's a two second delay before the hello world is printed out. And of course we can do the same thing as we did earlier, function which uses time module over here, then just put all this inside, okay? And then we can just, uh, let's put that in there too. Then we can just call this function, see? And now it prints out hello world after two seconds. So this is something that we can do, uh, but what makes the import lib module a bit unique is that it can do dynamic loading as well of modules. So for example, let's just remove this and let's say that we want the user to decide which module to import, which module to import. So uh, we can enter it right there. Then we can take this do module is equal to import lib dot import module then we can do user input. And then if module has been incorrectly imported, all right, because there's a chance that the user entered something incorrect, then we can do, uh, now this is the tricky part, because obviously we can't just call any function 
uh, unless we know which uh, module has been imported, right? So we can either just, uh, you know, use the user input to kind of determine if user input was like, you know, time, the time module, then we could do module.sleep, right? And then do sleep is equal to one. And if that's what I did, like time, then that would, that would work, right? Let's just increase that duration so we can tell a bit better, import time and three seconds later, yes, it paused the program for three seconds. Let's clear our screen, okay? Now, one more thing that you can do is module dot underscore name, this name attribute, and then we can do time, all right? And then if this works, it should be delayed for three seconds, which indeed it has, okay? Each module has this name attribute that, you know, tells what module it is. Okay, so these are a few things that we can do with import lib. It can do lazy loading, which we can already do by moving our import statements around. But import lib can also do dynamic loading of modules uh, using strings, okay? Because you can't do something like this, all right? That's not possible. And that's what we call dynamic loading, when you can do something like this, where you just take a string and then load that module based on that, all right? So that's what import lib can do. It's a pretty great feature, right? We have something cool coming up in the next video, which is something that takes import lib even a step further. So definitely do check that out. All right. Subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next video.